100 percent man there was probably a lot of trial and error through that guy's career that got him to the point where he got that that perfect routine Monday through Friday. Dude, the guy had you know what I mean? the guy had seven offensive coordinators in six years in San Francisco, man. <laughs> I mean, he he literally had to learn by like the trial by fire, and he, he taught me how to not make those same mistakes. And uh, from little things like in the in under center, I, I'm coming from the shotgun every single play. He's like, hey, have your feet like this. I'll help you get out get out from under center faster. Thank you. I mean, like just little things like that you would never think of when you step into the league. Jane, man, those uh, those vet those vet guys you can lean on, man. You don't realize how much they, they change your perspective on the game uh, until – I want I want to say until they leave. But I, that, for me, that was huge for a guy like Anthony Fasano mm-hmm. my first couple years uh, coming in and just observing how he's a professional Monday through Friday and to find those routine things to keep your body fresh every Sunday. you got to do certain stuff in the weight room, on the field, and recovery and all this stuff. And um, Anthony did a – he didn't have to do that. Like you said, yep. there's a lot of guys out here that are saying, I ain't, I'm not a mentor, man. I'm not out here, you know, uh, uh, bullshit. All right, if you're a team guy, you're going to help the guy next to you no matter if the world thinks he's better than you or not. You know what I mean? Like I genuinely I love feeding the, the tight ends that come into this building with as much information as I could possibly give them on how to get open in routes, how to, how to be more comfortable in this offense. Um, if you're not helping out the guy next to you, what are we fucking yeah, doing? Exactly. Man? And yeah, uh, it, well, and and more times than not, it doesn't work out for the other guy that doesn't want to help him. Because usually, the guy that doesn't want to help him is not helping because of like some perceived job security threat. And I've seen that not work out so many times. Most of the times, when a vet is willing to to help somebody else, not only are you helping that guy, you're helping the room, you're helping the team, you're helping like the entire culture, and it. You know, the way this business works is when you're winning, everybody gets taken care of. Everybody, Andy Reid, the reason why all those coaches keep getting hired everywhere is because he wins, right? He sets up these cultures that are successful. And, um, you know, I think all of all of us have been fortunate to be on good cultures where you see that most of the time be the case. And um, it does go a long way. It goes a long way, even not even, not even specifically helping, just being welcoming, man. Yeah. Just like yeah. – being a, a good person, welcoming, and having confidence in a younger guy is sometimes like the biggest thing you can do, dude. Um, dude, yeah, and so. I, and I'll, on the other end of that too, the guy that's the young guy has to show that they they're doing it oh, the right way. Yeah. That's the big, sure. that's the biggest thing, and I think that's what Alex kind of understood about me was I, I didn't I wasn't going around like asking him like hey, what, what are you doing here 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 I would just follow him and just learn hey what time are you gonna be in the building on Monday when we have our off day. He's like, I'm coming in at nine. I'm there at eight forty-five, sitting in the room waiting for him to get there. So just, just stuff like that. That's how you, that's how you get better in this game. That's awesome stuff, man. Getting back to Andy Reid, though, man. The commercial was my favorite <laughs> State Farm commercial of all fucking time. You got some good State Farm commercials. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, do yeah. it right over there. Um, how did that? How did the commercial come about, man? Because it's not easy to get Coach <laughs> hey, Reid to do hey, stuff hey, like hold that. Up now. 